Hi people, welcome back to our fourth tutorial of the Blender software. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to work with the bones. Uh, the bones on Blender are called amateurs. Armature, so as you can see, it is the bones that we, uh, it is called like that here on Blender. So with the bones you can create animations for your characters, guns, uh, cars, and other stuff that you may have on your projects and mine so today I'm gonna teach you guys how to add those bones and how to create your animations here on the blender now first of all uh, get a project uh, of a character that you may have or something uh, in the last tutorial we make a simple character using a couple of cubes uh, so you can start using that one at least just for testing there's nothing to make something fancy or something like that you just go only gonna uh, use this tutorial to make that character move now right here I have my character I work a little bit with this character to make it a little bit like a robot or something like that so I'm gonna start using this one first of all uh, my character is supposed to be looking at the front as you can see this is the front ortho here and I messed up while playing with the character so I got to turn the character at least 90 degrees over here so we could uh, go to the front like it's supposed to so first of all let me put my cursor into the center there we go now I'm gonna go to edit mode first of all you cannot move rotate uh, rotate or things like that uh, your mesh because you will have problems trying to export into the UDK unity or any other game engine that may, you may be playing or may you maybe start working with a project or something you need to have everything on the center if you're gonna rotate scale do something you have to do it on the edit mode so I'm going I just picked up my mesh and I'm going to enter to the edit mode I'm right now there now I'm going to select all my mesh. Now I'm going to the front ortho, pressing the number 1 on my keypad. And now I'm going to rotate, pressing the R. Then pressing the Z for the Z axis. I'm going to turn this 90 degree, typing 90 degrees only, and then hitting enter. Uh, and still yes this is the front okay so now we have him uh no this is not the front let me see no this is not the front so i gotta turn it uh 180 the z oh shit my bad the z r z 180 enter and now we have him looking forward so now we need uh, to center our character right on the middle like it's supposed to it's supposed to go to go half the grid here so for that I'm gonna press N to go to the properties and I'm just gonna insert here zero on every box so we can have him right on the center there we go pressing the end so we can close that property and we have him right on the center right now so now I'm gonna leave the other mode pressing the tab going back to the object mode and from here I'm going to add the bones now for that uh, press your shift key and the A so you can add an armature here choose single bone and from here on the bones property uh, my bad on the open uh, object data we're gonna click on x-ray so we can see the bone where it is now I'm going to my quad view because I need to align this right on the middle or to make it uh, no let's align it with the aces it's way better right here we have him on the middle I'm gonna pull him here because I need to scale this a little bit but for that I'm going to the edit mode once again, choose, I scale, everything you have to do it on the edit mode. You cannot do it on the object mode or you will have problems trying to export to another software. 
And from here, we're going to add more bones. So we can add it to the arms, to the hand, to the, to the leg, to the feet and everything. And for that, just choose one point. Let me choose all this because I need to pull it a little bit to the right. There we go. Now, choose the point where you're going to start uh, expanding your bones and press the E for extrude. And as you can see, you can start adding more bones. Now, for the head, press an E to extrude. And try always to have it outside the mesh. So if you try something to you, uh, maybe uh, if you have a melee weapon or something like that, it has to be from point to point. You cannot leave the bone inside or you will have uh, types of glitches on the game that won't look good. Now from here, let's add another bone. Gonna add here. Gonna add one. No, my bad. Let me fix this one. Sucks. Here. I'll put it right here. Now E for extrude again. E for extrude. And I have a hand here. So I'm gonna put it right here. Same thing for this one. E for extrude. Here. And my hand. Now let's go with the legs. From here to here to here to here. Now here, 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 and here. Now I'm gonna exit the edit mode, pressing the tab. As you can see, I'm in the object mode right now. And now we need uh, to parent the bone with the mesh. For that, select your mesh first, then the bones by pressing shift and right clicking on the objects. Let me try that again so I can show you guys. Shift, right click, leave your shift down, press uh, right click on the bone, one of the bones, and there we go. Now press Ctrl P so you can parent this, but you're going to choose armature with automatic weights. Now we have parented the bones here with the meshes. So I'm going to go into the pose mode. <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys what's this all about. As you can see, the time you move one of the bones, the complete hand moves. See? We can twist it, turn it around, all those kinds of stuff. Same for the head here. You can move the head around. Let me redo that. Or, I'll say yes. <laughs> and, <coughs> from side to side, it's working out. And for this, you have already your bones attached to your character right here. At least that's what we are working right now. And now it's time to make some animations. And for that, <coughs> you need to be on the pose mode here. And to be uh, for being on the pose mode, first of all, I'm going to get out of here into the object mode. If you can't get into the pose mode, you just need to select the bones. Here on the object mode, just select the bones. And the moment you select the bones, you will have the option to go to the pose mode. If you select the mesh, you won't have that option to go to the pose mode. So select the bone, one of the bones, and go to the pose mode. Now, first, right here, as you can see, we don't have no lines, no green lines, no yellow lines. These are the keyframes. This is, uh, can count like seconds. It can be like seconds and things like that. From here you will be working with different animations that you are going to insert and for that we need to insert the keyframes first. First of all I'm going to insert one keyframe here 
and that's gonna be pressing the I key with your uh, with your cursor on on the screen and let's uh, let's select location for the rotation scale okay my bad you need to uh, okay come on there we go you need to select the bone there we go now we have a yellow line here as you can see so one of the keyframes already uh, is inserted on the scene I'm gonna put this to 40 it's gonna end on 40 frames so it doesn't keep running to the right and clicking on 40 I'm gonna insert another keyframe well let's do something let me insert let me insert the keyframes for two arms instead of one we are on the keyframe number one okay so now I'm gonna select the other one it's gonna be this one right here there we go and now pressing the I locate rotation scale there we go we have one keyframe there now I'm gonna put here and on 40 and on 40 here I'm gonna insert another keyframe pressing the I same thing and then on the 20 uh, seconds or 20 frames my bad now, the 20 frames here I'm going to do my animation so the first we could do is something like this now let me put it on 10 10 15 yeah we can put it on on 10 let's put it on 10 here here so I'm going to insert a keyframe here and now I'm going to insert another keyframe here so I'm going to make another animation to the other side and insert the keyframe again and for last I'm going to move the head or something like that oh no I can't move the head damn it uh, let's put the the arms a little bit uh, I don't know, we can put him a little bit to the right, to the left, my man. There you go. And another keyframe here. And now let's go to the start of the animations by pressing uh, this little arrows that we have here on the, on the corner on the left. And now let's play it. So that's what we get every time you insert uh, a keyframe depending on how you move your bones for your mesh for your object your character your gun whatever you have you need to insert a keyframe so he can continue the animation um, I think that should be all for today guys this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment uh, let me stop this here Hope to see you guys on our fifth tutorial. Mm. Let me see what I can try to give you guys on the fifth tutorial here. But I have a lot of things, a lot of things for, uh, from the Blender software. So it's going to be a big playlist for a lot of tutorials of this software. So just keep waiting. There's more coming up. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment, guys. Hit the like button, write a comment. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.